Round two of the Queensland Off-Road Championships took us to the far north of the state to the Burdekin region just south of Townsville. Canefield sandwiched between hinterland and the ocean sure made for spectacular views coupled with a unique racetrack which threw all conditions at competitors. Heavy rain preceding the event kept the dust to a minimum to allow fantastic racing conditions for the 37 strong field. With a mix of long and short course laps over two days, this race had it all. And without further ado, we kick it off with the first of the nine competing classes, Unknown. Follow a blitzing prologue time nearly three seconds faster than second place Clayton Chapman, Talbot Cox in the number 16 Pro Buggy set the pace early and never looked back, using his pure speed and local knowledge to run away from the field, with the exception of Michael Marson who nipped at Talbot's heels keeping the gap within a minute for the better part of two days. Leighton Chapman and Michael Collins both suffered mechanicals throughout the event, keeping the two pro buggies out of contention. However, the chapman Maguire pairing were the fastest in the field during the section 3 and 5 short course. Albert Cox kept extending his margin to eventually take unlimited class win and the overall by 1 minute 13 seconds to Michael Martin in second, with Clayton Chapman overcoming mechanicals to bring home third place. Class 1 of Prolite Buggy saw a close battle between Chris Colborne in the number 169 Buggy and Andrew Murphy in his number 131 Aluma Craft Field. Colborne had the edge most of the weekend, but Murphy finished strong to keep the final gap from 1st to 2nd at around 4 minutes. Ian Baker came in 3rd following mechanical issues. Unfortunately, this was the theme for Dwyer and also for Lava. Five teams starting for Class 2, racing was fierce from the get-go, with Russell Hartnett taking the early advantage. However, reliability proved to be the winner in this class, and Michael Phillips prevailed to take the class win in a seesawing battle. Colin Gavin took second, whilst Hartnett got it together, placing third. Orr and Merchant found the going tough for Class 3 and managed to get some luck together to finish first and second respectively. Pairing of Brett Milton and Chris Roach in their Class 4 truck enjoyed the track conditions to take the class win. Great. 
Sporting 16 starters, Class 6 is the biggest and most hotly contested class of the series. With four teams placing in the top 10 overall, the class lead changing multiple times throughout the weekend. I'm half alive these days, half of me is wasting away, disconnected and I lost my faith, nothing matters from day to day. I can sleep by my side just until I open my eyes, I feel the harshest truth. After 15 laps and two days of ferocious Class 6 racing, David Lufnan in the 601 Can-Am found himself in first place and fifth in the overall standings. Rob Scott less than 20 seconds behind in second and sixth overall, followed by Drew Callender, third in class and eighth overall. Class 66, Class 6's little brothers with naturally aspirated engines found the going just as tight, with the battle of first going to the wire. Greg Oates getting the nod for first place over Ned Hancock by just over one minute. Chris Land steered a solid performance for third. Class 8 had a tough time in the terrain with all three entrants succumbing to some form of mechanicals across the weekend. Teams however got some laps into their machines with James Sant in his Patrol taking class on it, followed by Triton driver Stuart Chapman and 
Stephen Kildy, facing third. Final class of the weekend is Class 10, a great class to watch for pure racing. Dave Skinner third, Bradley Hatch second, and a respectable 14th outright. Best is saved for last. Rowan Merchant in number 1096 taking the class win and a blistering weekend taking third outright, matching it with the big horsepower boy. That's a wrap for the second round of the Queensland Off-Road Racing Championships. Huge congratulations to all the teams that managed to finish this truly grueling event. Be sure to like the Queensland Off-Road Racing Facebook page to keep up to date with all future Queensland racing events. Thanks for watching.